um, so we're talking about metrics. Um, just to note, this is a service which is still in development, so isn't yet available. So uh, in the context of uh, everything else, uh, the metric service is a planned uh, information service. So just to overview what I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm going to uh, discuss what we mean by metrics, uh, how we're gathering them, how we are using them, um, how you will eventually be able to use them, and then go through some quick um, work in progress examples. So a metric is um, a, measure, a measurable quantity which can be used to build time series data. So we've got some examples here. This could be uh, the usage of uh, group workspaces, including volumes and tape. Um, it could be the uh, overall uh, storage of Jasmine. Um, the user numbers for specific services, such as the number of users on group workspaces uh, or, or, or in cloud tenancies. Um, other uh, other cloud usage stats uh, are available as well, such as the number of CPUs in storage utilization. And then we're also planning to add in some load stats as well. Uh, for example, utilization and uh, potentially queuing times. So we're using a, a, a few different technologies to enable this. Uh, Influx and DB, which is a, a time series database. Um, Elasticsearch, which is um, uh, quite, quite a, large, a large piece of technology, but it's, um, it in fact is uh, a distributed open source search and analytics engine for all types of data, which is can be optimized for uh, time series searches and is also flexible so that the records don't have to have the same structure. So in effect, we're, we're also using this like um, uh, a time series database for metrics. The next one here, um, metric B is part of the Elasticsearch stack and it's what's called a shipper or scraper. And what that means is that it um, reads the metrics from a specific style of endpoint and then can store them into Elasticsearch. And then uh, we're using Grafana for our visualization um, as a, a web application which is going to show the dashboards. So just a few of the sources uh, that we've got, uh, there's an, an influx DB instance uh, which contains some of the, the system metrics. Um, we're also getting some information from the Jasmine accounts portal the elastic tape and storage D status pages, which is our um, tape technology. And we're also getting some Lotus metrics from software called XDMod. So this is just a summary of the current architecture. The metric service is a Python Django web app. Um, it uh, uses Prometheus style endpoints, which is just a specific style of metric. Um, it gathers the information from the sources. You can see those examples there are on the left. And met metric beat uh, scrapes these endpoints and stores them into Elasticsearch. Then Grafana uh, has displays the dashboards um, and it reads all this information for, uh, straight for live from Elasticsearch. Um, I'd show like uh, a couple of work in progress examples of two, dashboard, two dashboards in a minute. And the idea with these dashboards is that we'll have targeted ones aimed for different user groups. The examples here show as the group workspace managers and a general Jasmine user. The metric service is also used for some um, uh, internal information 
gathering. So it inputs some information into the uh, Google Workspace Scanner and is used for some internal reporting. So as I just touched on how we are using the metrics, um, we hope that the dashboards will allow group workspace and consortium managers to keep more up to date on the usage of their um, volumes and tape usage. Um, as I said, uh, it, it will also be used for some uh, internal reporting. So for example, board reports and quarterly reports and feed into other, other, group work, other um, services such as the group workspace scanner. And it, uh, the time series nature of the metrics can help inform the decisions for the future of Jasmine. So the idea of how you will eventually be able to use the metrics, just two ideas of dashboards here, we, we've, uh, which I'll show. We've got a group workspace and dashboards with the volume tape usage and history and the number of members. Um, this will hopefully expand in future as well. And then uh, a general Jasmine dashboard with some uh, interesting information, also uh, status and usage of the, the uh, Jasmine uh, system and services. And then we plan to expand these as well. So as I said, um, group workspace and consortium manager dashboards and hopefully other user groups such as cloud users. So here's an, uh, a work in progress example of uh, like a Jasmine landing dashboard. See at the top, we've got um, uh, sub, sub dashboards such as a group workspace dashboard and storage metrics and then uh, just uh, uh, highlights of the metrics here so total number of Jasmine users, uh, number of group workspace volumes and then some storage metrics just to note some of these figures are uh, raw rather than usable volume at the moment. Here's an example of the group works of a group workspace dashboard. So uh, just uh, just highlighted there in the top right, you can change the time period for which the data is displayed. So here we've got the, the previous 90 days. Um, should just say that there wouldn't normally be the gaps in data here. This is just because it's um, got two minutes, Matt. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Um, on the left, uh, there's a drop down um, where you can select the uh, group workspace which is being viewed. And we'll also add you can view a specific um, volume on a group workspace as well. Uh, this is what is shown here. So, th th this is a more uh, advanced plot showing a bit more of an interesting group workspace. So, uh, this specific group workspace at one time had four separate volumes. The green and the yellow are, show the overall usage for all those volumes. Uh, and you can see where the volumes are added and taken away. And then the blue and the orange show the usage for a specific group workspace. Oh, so sorry, a specific volume in that group workspace. And then just a, a, another interesting plot here, which is the total number of Jasmine log, 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 logging grants from January 2019 till I think the end of August. Um, you can just see uh, an interesting jump and um, um, a reduction there as well, which we believe is when we added some um, workshop users. So it's quite interesting to see how much that grows over time. Okay, so that's all I've got. Um, thanks for your attention.